So, I want to get right into this video and talk about basically how first it was DMT and then it was a little bit of mushrooms, then, you know, LSD. And now it's LSD. So, basically, what I mean is in the beginning of my psychedelic journey, I dived deep with DMT and it was basically only DMT. And I've done smoke DMT over 500 times I've had like 400 breakthroughs um and I mean like some of these doses were anywhere between 60 to 120 milligrams of DMT um I used to smoke it out of this thing that I would call a lung which is a two liter um in a bread bag you basically duct tape a bread bag around a two liter and you have it you cut off the bottom of a two liter and you have the bread bag in there and you put the bowl on the top of, you know where you screw the top in and then you pull it and then it, the bottle fills up with smoke um and then you inhale the smoke and that was and i have iron lungs so it, i was able to like inhale a lot of smoke at once and get the whole thing in one hit now after having deep experiences with DMT, you know, spiritual, met beings, entities, sung objects in the creation, city of light, vortex, this, that, God, you know, reality, dimensions, yada, yada, yada. Um, you know, elf beings, clowns, jesters, noodle beings, all this shit in DMT space. Um, <clears throat> so when I first got into LSD, I remember I was scared because I thought that LSD was going to be like a... Uh, 12 hour DMT thing um, I just was kind of uneducated on anything other than DMT so then I got into you know trying LSD for the first time um, that was beautiful but then I got into using mushrooms and you know in 2000 summer of 2016 I did LSD for the first time did it three times that summer um, I did mushrooms, you know, a, f a bunch of times that summer, but I never did more than probably like I think three grams that that summer, or whatever. And they weren't good mushrooms, really, because <clears throat> fast forward to this summer, so summer of 2020, um, where I really got to experiment hard with LSD. Um, in the beginning, during the spring of 2020, I got to experience and go hard with Hawaiian Bibudro seeds and learn a lot from LSA. High doses of LSA went up to 20 seeds uh, of Hawaiian Bibudro seeds. And I've done 250 Morning Glory seeds before. Um, but there was a lot of experiences with LSD over the summer, even up to date, uh, that now I get it. Now I understand a lot of people probably aren't doing enough LSD. Um, the tabs that I've been getting recently over the summer are like double times stronger than the tabs I used to get. So uh, these are just very potent tabs. You know, they say they have anywhere between 250 to 300 micrograms per tab. Um, so, you know, and I usually take anywhere, I take now the normal dose for me and my girl is five, you know, five hits. Um, which, you know, they're not perforated, so we got to cut the hits out ourselves, And we just split a 10 strip. And um, these are strong doses because when we split a 10 strip, it's not like we're just whatever. The visuals are so intense that the walls are dripping, that we're dripping, that the faces and everything, and you start to blend in with reality. You are uh, at, and now if, the doses are, you know, 200 or 250 to 300 micrograms, then we're, you know, obviously in five hits is, you know, a thou is more than a thousand micrograms. But it definitely is because we start, uh, you start having closed eye visuals that, tr that remind you of DMT space. You start losing sense of time and space of self and reality and, uh, uh, you can get lost into the madness because LSD is a lot more maddening than other psychedelics like mushrooms or DMT. Um, DMT is very clear. You have a clarity to your mind when you smoke DMT. Um, when you do LSD, you have this mad hatter madness vibe to you. And uh, um, But I've learned a lot from LSD. I've gained a, a great appreciation to it based on just the high doses of it. You know, I just feel like people aren't taking enough. Um, because the high doses are when the fun begins to end. Now, with LSD, I do have more fun with LSD than I do with any other psychedelic. 
I tend to have more sexual experiences when I'm on LSD with my girlfriend. When I'm on mushrooms, I cannot have sex at all. I'm not sexual at all. I don't want her to, or any, I don't want to be touched down there at all. It's just a weird thing. Um, on LSD, it's almost the exact opposite. LSD has more of a sexual-ness uh, to it. Uh, so I feel like, uh, so that happens sometimes, but I've learned that each psychedelic is a different thing. So for LSD, it's taught me how to be young, wild, and free. That humans need to be having more wild sex and having more fun with sex. That humans need to have more fun in general. Um, you know, ayahuasca tends to be me sitting down, laying down, dealing with some shit, going through a spiritual journey. Smoking DMT, you're getting shot through a cannon, going, getting shot into the spirit world and dealing with death and life and reality. Uh, you know, um, with LSA, which is, you know, basically the mother of LSD in a sense, but with LSA, LSA is more like a... Uh, so it kind of makes you nauseous similar to ayahuasca so I would say like it has an ayahuasca-ish vibe because it's more spiritual you're going on a spiritual journey you're not you know tripping balls and seeing just the walls drip and things because the open eye visuals of Hawaiian Bibudro seeds or morning glory seeds which contain LSA are not that intense um but the closed eye visuals, you can actually go into the spirit world and go on a journey. And with LSA, I've been able to have closed eye visuals about, you know, the future and different visions of the future that have happened and things that I've never experienced on any other psychedelic besides Hawaiian B. Woodrow seeds. Um, and this is on 10 seeds or more. So 10 to 15 seeds. Uh, I can experience this closed eye visuals where in a sense I start to have visions of the future or future it's just weird it's very hard to explain unless you experience it um but with LSD I've just gained an extreme love for LSD because you know at the high doses is when you start to blend with the LSD you know it's when the ceiling becomes a complete insane geometrical Mandela that you can in a sense get sucked up into and have an out of body experience and go into it as long as you've taken a thousand micrograms or more. Um, I think at the lower doses you're not able to travel like that and this is all with open eyes, right? All with open eyes I'm able to just lay down, look at the ceiling and in a sense just you're able to stare off and travel go into it you can see the geometrical reality that's beyond it's just so hard to explain but that's the problem with LSD though is it's very maddening so it's very hard to explain but um with DMT the reason why I was able to explain DMT so clearly is because for me when I smoke DMT there's this clarity of the mind like this Zen meditative mind that I get every time I smoke it um you know, this last time I did mushrooms, I did an eighth with my girl, and these must have been some really good mushrooms, because these were the golden teachers, and I did an eighth, and I was able to actually meet the entity of the mushroom. But I'm starting to realize that everything is based on intention. So, we were able to meet the entity of the mushroom when we turned the music off, we put a frequency on, we turned the light off, and I put a blindfold over my eye. And I was able to have the closed eye visuals see, in a sense, the beginnings of what looked like DMT space. And I was able to, you know, begin to go into it and meet the entity of the mushroom and get taught some lessons. And, um, and that's what those type of psychedelics are for. Now, with LSD, um, 2CB, uh, the 2Cs, uh, things like that. I feel like these are a different class of psychedelics. These are a different type of thing because they're not... LSD is not as deep as LSA. Um, 2CB or 2CE is not as deep as mescaline. Uh, like, these are... I guess that's what I'm just starting to analyze and realize. And what I mean by deep is... The spiritual journey part, the spirit world, the LSD tends to like kind of seems like it's dripping the spirit world into this world. Like things are just dripping into this world and, you know, 
because of my skin tone, when I'm tripping like on LSD, I tend to look like a purplish pinkish color, kind of like Barney, but not, you know, but like my skin tone is and things are just dripping and reality is just whatever. And, um, but uh, yeah, with mushrooms, things tend to breathe more when with even LSA, things tend to breathe more. And I think, you know, with a plant psychedelic that is not altered by science, you know, I think it's like it's alive more. And with LSD, it's like it's half alive, half cyborg. So it like has a cyborg-esque vibe to it when uh, this is just my personal experience with it. But even um, when looking at a white ceiling, when on uh, even just taking two tabs of, of the L that I've you know recently been able to get, you can look at a white ceiling and it has the tie-dye effect. And you can kind of see that uh, uh, LSD, because the LSD I was getting before, it didn't have that. It didn't have the, it wasn't, walls weren't dripping enough. They were slightly, but not really enough. The ceiling was slightly tie-dyed, but not really enough. But I definitely just think, you know, people aren't taking enough LSD. Just like people don't take enough mushrooms, just like people don't smoke enough DMT, just like because anyone who's ever said these things don't work for them. If you've never lived an entire life as a light being in DMT space, if you've never uh, met Mother Ayahuasca or met these entities or beings or met the mushroom entity or uh, if you've never um, melted and blended in with the LSD visuals themselves and became the LSD visuals and left your body, then I feel like you're not taking enough of any of these substances. Humans, a lot of times we like to, a lot of people, because even I did in the beginning with mushrooms, I wanted to take just enough mushrooms to say I took them. So I took, you know, two grams of mushrooms, 2.5 grams of mushrooms, three grams of mushrooms, just to say, yeah, I took mushrooms, but never did I take it in a setting where it was silent, dark, whatever, like I did with DMT. For some reason, I always had balls to take DMT and silent darkness because that's how I always learned to do it was silent darkness. But I don't know. Mushrooms always scared me. Ayahuasca always scared me. So first time I did ayahuasca, it didn't work because I was too scared to take a higher dose. Um, but then the second time I did it, it worked because I just faced that fear and took that higher dose. It's... Now, I just realized it's always about facing the fear and taking the higher dose. And as long as you know you're not going to die from taking the higher dose, then it's fine. You know, like I know the LSD I take is tested. It's safe. It's whatever. Um, so therefore, it's good. So I can take six, seven tabs of this, which is 250 micrograms per tab, and go on a very deep journey with the LSD lose my mind into the madness because at those doses you become extremely mad in the mind in a sense the it's hard to grasp reality so sometimes when i'm like that doses like that you just gotta sit the fuck down and like let what happens happen go on the journey with lsd for me personally i don't get a lot of closed eye visuals i do at doses like that but nowhere near it's not as in-depth as like LSA or ayahuasca or mushrooms or DMT because um, I just feel like the half synthetic molecules have a half synthetic closed eye visual effect. They lack in closed eye visuals, but um, sometimes they amaze me with the open eye visuals um, more than the plant psychedelics, but you know, it's just one of those things. It's just something I've learned over the years and just with my personal experiences and for 2021, my goal is to explore with mescaline, just like I explored with LSD for um, 2020. Um, so, you know, getting ready to get a bunch of San Pedro extract and San Pedro and, you know, things like that and, you know, go from there and explore with that and see what that's like. Uh, but yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Um... I was going to make a, like a, a specific trip report, but I figured like I'd just make this video you know, just about you know, all the psychedelics, I guess, that I've done and what I've learned. And, you know, the difference is basically is that DMT is about death and ayahuasca is more about the plants and 
earth and you asked about death but it's more nurturing mushrooms is like a more masculine ayahuasca more but more about some cosmic space vibe to it um lsd has a cyborg type vibe to it um lsa has like a future a, te- a like a grandmother able to tell the future type vibe to it um uh, but I just, you know, have come to the understanding that these things have personalities. These things have a lot to teach us if you're willing to listen and willing to take the risk to take the high dose. But thank you guys.